Hi Rap Candy, it's Ryan. I am just going to quickly show you how to set up your PayPal with your Zen card. If you're using the hosting that um, from Rap Candy, you're going to want to go to configuration first. And you're going to want to go down, or you're going to go to my store. And you want to go down to this curl proxy and you want to set it to false just by clicking on curl proxy and then clicking false. If you don't, then when the pay, when the customer goes to your site after they pay, it will not register in your account that they paid. So, go ahead and do that first. Turn your curl proxy stat status off. Next, we're going to go to modules and payment. You'll notice there's a few PayPal options. I think most of you will probably fall into the PayPal website payment standard IPN. Uh, if you use Website Payment Pro, you're paying a monthly fee, and I wouldn't even use this unless you're using a secure server, which is another extra cost. So I think most of you will will fall into this category. So we're going to click on it. Over here we have an option to install it. We're going to install. Very important right here is your main PayPal address. You know you can have multiple pay, uh, email addresses in your PayPal account. You need to use the one that's your primary email address or it will not work. Another thing you need to take into consideration is when you typed it into PayPal, did you use any capital letters? If you did, it has to match identically to how you entered it into PayPal. So if it's all lowercase, you're fine. If it's all capitalized, then enter it all capitalized. Okay, so it's already got my email address. So now you have to go to your PayPal account. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on this one more time. That gives you a little bit of instructions. Oh, wait. After you update, it gives you some instructions. Right here. Set your payment prefer preferences to automatic return. And this is the URL. And it's already defaulted to the exact URL I'm going to want to use. Yours will look different. Mine's got my domain name. But everything else should be about the same. So now I'm going to go ahead and toggle over to my PayPal account. I'm already in my profile and then I clicked on website payment prefer preferences. I'm going to turn my auto return on. I am going to put in the URL that was that I just copied and I'm going to paste it in there. And then I'm going to use the data transfer. I'm not going to turn it on because I don't want you to see what my data transfer information is, but you would turn that on, then you would copy that data transfer information. And then you'd go back to your cart admin and you would click this edit here. And then you would put your your uh, payment data transfer code. It's going to be a long, lengthy code right here. You're going to copy and paste it right in there. And then when you're done, you're going to update it. And then make sure you go back to your PayPal account. Oops. And make sure that you save it. And you should be good to go. Oh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, one thing you want to do is put a product in there for a penny and have a friend test it for you.